Hi, boys and girls. I'm back. Ooh, ooh. In case you missed me, I missed you while I was gone. And in case you forgot, this is Penny's Reading Nook. And I'm here in Spencer at the Patch Office. And I am glad to be back. I missed you guys. Um, I had to have a little bit of an operation, had a surgery. Everything's good. Tests are good. I'm back. It's, yes, it's all good, okay? And because of that, I wanted to do, and because of all the stuff going around, I wanted to do a storybook about doctors and nurses. And I found this book that's called Peppa Loves Doctors and Nurses. And I have to tell you, I had a great doctor and a team of nurses and aides that took great care of me. I had Dr. Philosoph, and I had... Um, there was a nurse, Stephanie, and a nurse, Kim, and a nurse, Katrina. And I had an aide named Linda and an aide named Tammy, and they took awesome care of me, and they made sure I was up and on my feet and ready to go again. So let's celebrate doctors and nurses today by reading this book, okay? Again, it's called Peppa Loves Doctors and Nurses. I thought it was a cute little book. Everybody loves Peppa Pig, right? Today, we have two vis visitors, Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox. Madame Gazelle tells the children, they both have important jobs. They help others when they need it. Hooray, cheer the children. When I hurt my leg, I had to go to the hospital, says Pedro. Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox looked after me. When I wasn't feeling great, Dr. Brown Bear made me feel all better, says Peppa. Someday, I want to help others, too. The children look out the window. They're here. Let's go outside, says Danny. Good morning, children, says Nurse Fox. The best way to stay healthy is to keep active. We should move our bodies every day. Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox build an obstacle course for the children. Madame Gazelle shows the children how to do it. Ta-da, she says. Now it's the children's turn. They swing on a tire. They crawl through a tunnel, hop, slide, skip, and jump around. Peppa is having so much fun. But then, uh-oh, she slips and falls down. Thump. Oh, no. Nurse Fox makes sure that Peppa is okay. Accidents happen, Nurse Fox says. But next time, be a bit more careful. Slow down. Peppa returns to the obstacle course. This is my favorite part, she says. Then she jumps up and lands in a big, muddy puddle. Splash. Who doesn't love a muddy puddle, right? Mm, love mud puddles. I don't think that's part of the obstacle course, Madame Gazelle says, smiling. But it sure is fun. Soon it is snack time. Hooray, cheer the children. We must wash our hands before we eat, Nurse Fox says. This helps us stay healthy, too. The children wash their hands and sing the Wash Our Hands song. Let's wash, wash, wash our hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. Dr. Brown Bear tries to open his snack box, but it's stuck. Nurse Fox, can you please help me, he asks. Nurse Fox comes over and opens the box easily. Nurse Fox, you must eat lots of healthy food to be that strong, Peppa says. Peppa and her friends love snack time. They have lots of fruits and vegetables like juicy green apples, crunchy orange carrots, and squishy purple grapes. You've done such a good job today, children, Dr. Brown Bear says. I'm going to give you all a sticker. Hooray, cheer the children. They love stickers, too. 
Madame Gazelle brings out the dress-up box. Peppa and her friends dress up as doctors and nurses. I hope one day I get to help others just like you do, Peppa tells Nurse Fox and Dr. Brown Bear. Why not try now? Dr. Brown Bear asks. The children giggle. They decide to wrap Dr. Brown Bear in bandages. And more bandages. And then some more. Well, now you need a sticker, says Peppa the doctor. All the little doctors and nurses cover Dr. Brown Bear in stickers. And it's, come on, who doesn't love a Band-Aid and stickers, right? Soon you'll feel all better, Peppa says. Peppa loves doctors and nurses. Everyone loves doctors and nurses. The end. And again, that was Peppa loves doctors and nurses. And if you see a doctor or a nurse out there today, you need to thank them for all that they do. All right, well, I've got a project that kind of goes along with the book about doctors. Remember in the book where they cover Dr. Brown Bear in Band-Aids? I mean, come on, we all love Band-Aids, right? Right? Well, for this project, it's our project, but it's also our game, okay? And for this, you're going to need Guess what? You're gonna need some band-aids. If I can get the band-aids open. You just get an assortment of band-aids. Ask your mom and dad, ask an adult. If you have some band-aids in the house, if you can use them. But you need your band-aids to be all different, okay? And I'll come over here where you can see it better. For this particular activity, I've got band-aids that have um, the Paw Patrol characters on them and you need two of each one because you want a pair and we need little paper plates okay do you have any ideas what we're going to do with a pair of band-aids because we're going to make a pair and paper plates do you have any idea what we're going to do we're going to play a memory game we're going to play a matching game so you see on my plates i've got the paw patrol characters i also got some of the disney princesses them there and you're just going to take the backing off of the band-aids and you're going to put them on the backs of the paper plates okay because that way they're easier to turn over we're going to play a memory game okay so let me find my empty plates i got here so i can show you what to do and i also just got some plain colored band-aids so we're going to take the backing off our band-aids and you just put them on the, the back of the paper plate. I mean, how easy is that, right? Yeah, it's super easy. Super easy activity and game. Because remember, you have to have two matching Band-Aids for this to work, okay? And I got my colored Band-Aids. I found those at the Dollar Tree for a dollar a box. I mean, that, talk about a deal. A box of Band-Aids for a dollar. Oh, what's this one? Blue, that's right, I've got a blue Band-Aid. And I happen to have two blue Band-Aids. Okay, this will be my last one, and then I'll show you what to do. Everybody knows how to play memory, right? Right. I think the best part's just peeling the back off the Band-Aids and sticking them on something, isn't it? All right, so there we go. We've got our Band-Aids. I've got two blue Band-Aids. I have two purple Band-Aids. Let me move all my stuff out of the way. And then I've got my character band-aids here. So then what you do is you're going to take some of your band-aids. You want to mix them up so we don't get them in the right order. We don't want to have all our matches together, do we? No. Hello. What fun's that, huh? Okay. So we got our band-aids, right? I'll kind of shuffle my plates up a little bit. I'm going to put them here in some type of an order so we make sure, because when you're playing memory, you always want them to go in the same place, right? Okay, so we know that's how our mind remembers where they're at. Okay, was that one on the top? Is that the top first one or the top second one? Is that on the bottom? you got to use your mind. you got to think, think, think. Okay, let's see. Let's see how good I'm at that this morning, all right? Um... Oh, look, I got a purple Band-Aid. Hmm, where might that other purple Band-Aid be? Let's go down here on the bottom. 
Oh, no. I got one of the Paw Patrol characters. And I'm not real good at remembering all the Paw Patrol people. Let's go one more and see if I can get it. Um, oh, there was the Disney princess. Let's see if I can find that. That one might be Jasmine, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Where might Jasmine be? Oh, I had a Disney princess, but I had the wrong one. I think that might be Moana, maybe. You'd think I'd get better with these names, wouldn't you? All right, just one more to show you. I can do it, right? Right. Oh, look, there's Jasmine. Now, where was she at? Do you remember? Was she in the middle row on the end? Was she on the bottom? No? You got to help me, guys. Where was she at? Oh, let's think. Oh, I heard somebody say it. She was the first one on the top row. Let's see, were we right? Ah, look at that. We were right. We have a match. Good job. And then when you get a match, you keep the place. Keep going till the game is over and see how many matches you make, okay? It's a fun game that the whole family can play. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And remember, ask your family about the Band-Aids and the paper plates. And have a great time. And don't forget to thank the doctors and the nurses out there. All right? I'll see you next time, boys and girls. Bye-bye.